Good morning, everybody. It's Cindy. It is Thursday morning. I think it was it's the 29th of August today. I'm fixing myself here while I'm on camera. Hey, I just wanted to come on this morning and talk a little bit more about an opportunity economy. It's what one of the things that our, our uh, future uh, President Harris talked about. And there are some things that I read into that. Uh, that I want to tease out a little bit more. I'm going to continue to be talking about this. Um, <clears throat> I talked uh, day before yesterday about my book, The Color of Courage, Crushing Racism, Corporate America, where I told my story about a takedown. And I've continued to focus on the fact that in big business, so again, we're going to talk about opportunity economy where wealth is built inside of corporate America, where... Um, disproportionate harm is happening to black women. And the people who are creating the harm to those black women are women who are too threatened, too insecure uh, to report to a black woman. They, uh, oh, there's so much I could talk about what goes on with um, that demographic because they feel very strongly that they are the leaders and we're the servants. Well, the tide has turned. And so when you look at the data around the highest um, advanced education is uh, now uh, being sought after and um, completed by black women, when you start talking about an economy that has opportunity and you start thinking about quote unquote most qualified, guess who the most qualified people are right now in society? I mean, you see it happening everywhere, right? You see all of these positions. In fact, isn't it interesting that the government structure has a whole lot more black leaders than corporate America. Well, here we are. And um, I have continued to quote uh, some data that uh, an author, Steve Phillip, did, a uh, research professor at a Stanford University, where he talked about um, the voting power in the country and the shift that is occurring now. That is also happening in business. And so business cannot afford to keep believing the concoctions and the fact that every black woman is a performance problem. That's not the case. The case is that we are not being heard. We are not being believed. And so what has happened because of that is higher education, starting the statistics around who are starting new businesses, black women off the charts, the percentages of it. So you're losing a whole intellectual property, people who are the innovators, you're losing it because you continue to wanna to believe people who are operating from a place of fear and entitlement of having all of the leadership positions. Those days are over. Will big business begin to make difficult decisions? Will you begin to say no to people that you have historically said yes to? Will you push back when you hear these performance problems, quote unquote, and ask deeper questions and then actually do something about the, the people who are creating uh, the performance deficiency? I have continued to say, <clears throat> you cannot tell me that's a misstep in hiring. You have to understand and ask the questions about how come people are not being successful or why they're choosing to leave and if they're going to tell you the truth, why not or why they are. So there's a lot to unpack with this and I believe very strongly that an opportunity economy is going to address the fact of the people who are the most educated now and can raise the bar even higher for the people who have been the decision makers and people who have had the earning power historically. It's no more. We've got a shift. Black women are leaders. We are, we have earned, so don't believe they didn't earn it. Who didn't earn it are the people who are setting boundaries or setting, trying to set the goalposts higher because they've historically always had uh, been entitled to it and have had access to it. The world has changed. You can see it all over. You can feel what's happening. And so the pivot point is here. What are we going to do about an opportunity economy? More to come.